Hello, healthy buddies. In cases of emergency, do you know what to do? Knowing first aid is very important because you do not know when and where emergency may arise. In this video, we will teach you common first aid tips that can be useful during emergency situations. Save a life, healthy buddies. Number one, cut. When you cut your finger with a knife, First, wash the cut with soap and water so you don't get bacteria into the cut and cause an infection. If soap and water are not available, use alcohol or sanitizer. Remove any dirt or debris from the wound. Next, stop the bleeding, but never suck the blood out of the cut. Put pressure on the cut with a gauze pad or clean cloth for a few minutes. Apply an antibacterial ointment or betadine to avoid infection. Number two, animal bite. Getting bitten by a dog, cat, bat, or other animal may get you infected with rabies. First, wash the wound in a running water for at least 20 minutes using soap. Then you must get an anti-rabies or anti-tetanus vaccine to make sure you get protected, so you need to go to the doctor. Go to the nearest hospital or clinic right away to get vaccinated. Number three, Nosebleed. Nosebleed simply means bleeding from the inside of the nose due to trauma. The biggest cause of nosebleed is digital trauma, otherwise known as picking it. When this happens, follow these methods to stop the bleeding. Lean slightly forward, not back. Pinch the nose just below the bridge for about five minutes. Don't pinch the nostrils closer by pinching lower. Check if the bleeding has stopped. If not, Continue pinching and check back after another 10 minutes. You can also apply a cold pack to the bridge of the nose while pinching. If the bleeding does not stop after doing this for a long time, consult your doctor. Number four, burn. The first thing to do when treating a burn is to stop the burning process. Chemicals need to be cleaned off, electricity needs to be shut off, and heat needs to be cooled down with running water. Sunburn victims need to be covered up or go inside. After stopping the cause of the burn, you then have to treat it. For serious burns, you might need to see a doctor or call 911. Take these first aid steps for burns. Flush the burned area with cool running water for several minutes. Do not use ice. Apply light gauze bandage. Do not apply ointments, butter, or oily remedies to the burn. You may take pain reliever like ibuprofen, but avoid breaking any blisters that may have formed. Number five, broken bone. Remember that all injuries in the extremities should be treated as fractures or broken bones, unless the x-ray says otherwise. Take these steps when you suspect a broken bone. Don't try to straighten it. Stabilize the limb using a splint and padding to keep it immobile. Put a cold pack on the injury. Avoid placing ice directly on the skin. Elevate the extremity. Take an anti-inflammatory drug like antiprofen or naproxen. Remember that these steps also apply for a sprain. The symptoms for sprain are the same as fracture. You need an x-ray to differentiate the two. Number six, frostbite. Frostbite occurs when the body's tissues freeze deeply in the cold. Ice crystals that form in the tissues cause damage to the cells, just like the damage caused by burns. Treating frostbite is a delicate procedure of gradual warming. This should be done by professionals at a medical facility, but if it's not possible right away, here is what you should do. First, get out of the cold. Small areas of minor frostbite may be rewarmed by skin-to-skin -skin contact, but avoid using any heat sources or hot packs. If you can't make it to a medical facility, use immersion of the affected area in warm water, 98 to 105 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 30 minutes to rewarm it. Do not rub the affected area or use heat sources. Number seven, blisters. If the blister is small, unbroken, and not very painful, it is probably best to leave it alone. Cover it to prevent continued rubbing and pressure on it that can cause it to swell more and possibly burst on its own. If the blister is large or painful, 
Follow these steps to drain and dress a blister. Use a sterilized needle and make small punctures at the edge of the blister. Extract the fluid. After this, apply an antibiotic ointment to avoid infection. Cover it to protect it from further rubbing and pressure. Number 8. Bee Sting Bee stings are either annoyingly painful or deadly, depending if you are allergic to the venom. Use these bee sting first aid tips to save you from the bee sting. Get the stinger out any way you can to prevent more venom being delivered. This is the very first thing to do. If the victim is known to be allergic to bee stings, use an EpiPen to prevent anaphylaxis or call 911. Use a cold pack to reduce swelling at the site, but take care not to cause frostbite. Do not apply the ice directly to the bite. Use an antihistamine like Benadryl to reduce swelling and itching. You may take ibuprofen or Tylenol for pain. Monitor for signs of anaphylaxis, including hives, redness or itching in any other areas of the body, and shortness of breath. Number 9. Jellyfish Sting Use vinegar. Yes, you probably heard it before, and it's not a myth. Next time you go swimming on the beach, bring your vinegar, because you can never tell when the jellyfish will sneak up. Here are the steps to treat a jellyfish sting. Rinse the area of the sting generously with vinegar for at least 30 seconds. If you don't have vinegar available, use a baking soda slurry instead. Immerse the affected area in hot water, as hot as the person can tolerate, for at least 20 minutes or until the pain goes away. If hot water isn't available, use dry hot packs. If those aren't available, use dry cold packs. Other methods to relieve pain are less effective, such as urine, fresh water wash, papa in, or meat tenderizer. Also, do not use a pressure bandage. Number 10. Heat Exhaustion Get out of the heat immediately and lay down with feet and legs elevated. Replenish fluids and place a cold cloth on the forehead or back of the neck. Make sure to monitor symptoms to ensure heat exhaustion doesn't turn into heat stroke. Seek immediate medical attention if fainting, confusion, or high fever occurs. So health buddies, here are the 10 first aid tips that will surely come in handy when emergency strikes. It is important to know them because who knows whose life you are saving next, right? Have you experienced any of these scenarios before, and what did you do? Comment down below about your experience. We would love to know. We hope you learned something today. Until next time, healthy buddies!